geobyte. Welcome to GeoByte. Hi students, in the previous video we have covered the topics representing real numbers or number line, example problem 11 and exercise number 1.4. In this video, let us cover the topics operations on real numbers, example problems from 12 to 16 and identities of square roots. Now, let us see operations on real numbers. See, as we know that rational numbers satisfy associative, commutative and distributive laws for addition and multiplication. And irrational numbers also satisfy associative, commutative and distributive laws for addition and multiplication. And see, irrational numbers will not get the answers only as irrational numbers. They get also in rational numbers. If you see in the case of addition, let me take root 5 plus of minus root 5. See, there are two irrational numbers in addition. Now the answer is 0. 0 is a rational number. So when we add two irrational numbers, we get answer as a rational number. Now let us see in the case of subtraction. Let me take root 10 minus root 10. It also gives the answer 0. Here two irrational numbers are in subtraction. But I have got the answer as a rational number that is 0. Now let me take in the case of multiplication. Root 2 into root 2. Right? So root 2 into root 2 gives me 2. As C. Root 2 into root 2. They become root 2 whole square. Square roots cancel. We will get 2. So we got answer as 2. Now let us see in the case of division. Root 15 by root 15. We get 1. Right? See, in these all cases, we got answers as rational numbers. Now, let us see example number 12. Check whether 7 root 5, comma, 7 by root 5, comma, root 2 plus 21, comma, pi minus 2 are irrational numbers or not. Let us see. First, let us write down the values of root 5. Root 5 value is 2.236 and so on. And root 2 value is 1.4142 and so on. And pi value is 3.1415 and so on. Now the given questions are 7 root 5, comma 7 by root 5, comma root 2 plus 21, comma pi minus 2. So we need to check whether these numbers are irrational or not. So let us substitute these values in these numbers. Now let us see for the first one. We have 7 root 5. 7 into root 5 value is 2.236 and so on. That gives you 15.652 and so on. Now let us see for 7 by root 5. 7 by 
root 5. So, for this, we can multiply and divide the denominator that is 7 into root 5 by root 5 into root 5. When an irrational number is in the denominator, we can multiply and divide like this. So, I have multiplied and divided root 5. Now, 7 root 5 by root 5 into root 5 becomes 5. As you know, both becomes like this and square roots gets cancelled. Now, 7 root 5 by 5. The value will be 3.1304 and so on. Now let us see for root 2 plus 21. It has the value 22.4142 and so on. And the last one we have pi minus 2. Pi minus 2 gives you C. Pi is nothing but we have written 3.1415 and so on. And if you see minus 2 that gives you 1.1415 and so on. If you observe these all answers are non-terminating, non-recurring numbers. So, these all are irrational numbers. Now, let us see example number 13. Add 2 root 2 plus 5 root 3 and root 2 minus 3 root 3. Let us add. See, they have given 2 root 2 plus 5 root 3 plus root 2 minus 3 root 3. We need to add these two. Now if you see here root 2 and here root 2 is there. So let us take it common. First let us write all the root 2's at one side. That is 2 root 2 plus root 2 plus 5 root 3 minus 3 root 3. Now, see, I have written root 2 is on one side and root 3 is on other side for simplification. Now, if you see, here root 2 is common. If we take root 2 common, 2 plus 1 will be remaining. See, this gives you 2 into root 2, 2 root 2 plus 1 into root 2, root 2. So, I have taken root 2 common. Now, plus here root 3 is common. So, root 3 and we have 5 here minus we have 3 here. Here I have taken root 3 common and 5 minus 3 are in the brackets. Now, if you see root 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 plus root 3, 5 minus 3, 2. So now 3 root 2, 3 into root 2, 3 root 2 plus 2 into root 3, 2 root 3. So this is the answer of this sum and we have got an irrational number. Now, let us see example number 14. We have multiply 6 root 5 by 2 root 5. See, we need to multiply these two irrational numbers. 6 root 5 into 2 root 5. As you know, see, 6 into 2 into root 5 whole square. As we have root 5 two times, so it becomes whole square. Now, square and roots get cancelled. 6 twos are 12 into only 5 is left here. 
So, 12 fives are 60. In the case of multiplication, we got rational number. Now, let us see example number 15. Divide 8 root 15 by 2 root 3. Let us divide. First, let us write down 8 root 15 by 2 root 3. See here, 8 root 15 can be written as root 3 into root 5. Root 3 into root 5. 5 threes are 15. We get root 15. Now, denominator is 2 root 3. See, I have divided root 15 into root 3 into root 5. So, now if you see 8 root 3 into root 5 by 2 root 3. This is what we have. Now, if you see, 2 ones are 2, 2 fours are 8. And root 3, root 3 gets cancelled. Now, what are left over? 4 into root 5 by 1. Obviously, you know that is 4 root 5. 4 into root 5, root 5. 4 root 5 by 1 is 4 root 5 itself. So, we got 4 root 5. Now, let us see identities of square roots. See, generally we have formulas as a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. And similarly, a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. So, similarly, to solve the irrational numbered problems easier. We will write these identities for square roots. First, root a into b is equal to root a into root b. See, a and b are two different numbers. So, now root a b is equal to root a into root b. And Root a by b is equal to root a by root b. Now, root a plus root b into root a minus root b gives you a minus b. Now, root a plus root b into root c plus root d. Gives you root a c. See, this will get multiplied to this again with this. This again with this. So, root a c plus root a d plus root bc plus root bd. Right? So, root a into root c, root a into root d. Root b into root c, root b into root d. So, we will get like this. Now, let us see a plus root b into a minus root b gives you a square minus b and root a plus root b whole square is equal to a plus 2 root a b plus b. So, these are some of the identities of square roots which are very useful in solving the irrational number problems. Now, let us see example number 16. Simplify the following expressions. 
Below we have four expressions. Let us solve them one by one using identities of square roots. The first one is 5 plus root 7 into 2 plus root 5. Now, if we see this, we will remember the identity that is a plus root b into a plus root b gives you a square plus under root b. So, here we don't have similar a and similar b. There are different numbers. So, we need to solve completely. That is first, we need to multiply 5 into 2. 5 into 2 plus 5 into root 5. That is 5 root 5. 5 into 2 plus 5 into root 5. After this plus root 7 into 2. That is 2 root 7 plus root 7 into root 5. That is root 7 into 5. Now, if you see, I have multiplied 5 with 2 and root 5 and again 7 with 2 and root 5. Now, I have got this expression. If you see, 5 twos are 10 plus 5 root 5 plus 2 root 7 plus 7 fives are 35 that is under root 35. So, this is what we got by solving first expression. Now, let us see for second expression. We have 5 plus root 5 into 5 minus root 5. We have an identity for this expression that is a plus under root b into a minus under root b that gives you a square minus b. This is the identity we have for this expression. See, first let us multiply these two and these two, these two and these two. Now if you see 5 into 5, 25, 5 fives are 25, we have minus sign and 5 into root 5. 5 fives are 25 minus 5 into root 5 plus root 5 into 5 is nothing but 5 root 5. Again plus into minus minus root 5 into root 5. That is nothing but 5. See, root 5 into root 5. That is nothing but 5. We will see in the next step. Now, see 25 minus, minus 5 root 5 plus 5 root 5 gets cancelled. Minus and plus, right? So, minus 5 root 5 plus 5 root 5 cancels. We have minus root 5 into root 5 is nothing but root 5 whole square. So, 25 minus square roots gets cancelled. 25 minus 5 is equal to 20. I have solved and shown. If we substitute directly in this, see, A is nothing but 5. So, 5 square, see, A square. So, 5 square minus B is nothing but 5. Minus 5. So, 5 square is nothing but 25. Minus 5, we get 20. So, if we remember identity, it will be very simple like this. If not, we need to solve it completely. Now, let us see the third expression. We have root 3 plus root 7 whole square. The identity for this expression can be root a plus root b 
whole square that is equal to a plus 2 root a b plus b. Right? Now let us substitute in this identity. Here a is nothing but 3, b is nothing but 7. Right? a is 3, b is 7. Now we will substitute in this formula that is a plus that is 3 plus 2 under root a b. So under root 3 into 7. These are a b's. So 3 into 7 plus b. b is 7. Now 3 plus 2 under root 3 7 are 21 plus 7. Now we can add 7 and 3 that becomes 10. 7 plus 3 10 plus 2 root 21. This is what the expression we will get by solving this one. Now let us see for fourth one. We have under root 11 minus under root 7 into under root 11 plus under root 7. If we say this, we will get the identity that root a plus root b into root a minus root b. That is equal to a minus b. So here a is equal to 11, b is equal to 7. Now see a is 11, b is 7. We have identity as a minus b. So 11 minus 7 gives you 4. So this is what we got for this expression. The remaining topics will be covered in the next video. You are welcome to contact us on Telegram to clarify your doubts regarding these topics. Check out the link in the description. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to Geobyte. Geobyte.